I found uh, out from this article that there's been a, uh, there's a rumor going on the Game mm. of Thrones uh, spinoff House of Targaryen is uh, has been given a go by HBO. Ah, and, uh, okay. Uh, whether whether it's going to come out this year or next year, that's all. That's all up to. Uh, I mean, was there ever any doubt? Was there like a chance that it yeah, was not? They, they, was they, were, they were killing those spinoffs. The spinoff like... was canceled. For, oh, they were okay. Because I yeah. thought it was like and, uh, a for sure thing. I mean, they're, I mean, this is going to be a. They were dying like, off like gray wolf pups. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were killing them off like the Starks. But anyhow, I mean, they're currently <laughs> casting for two of the Targaryen leagues, leagues who are uh, presumably the uh, ancestors of uh, Daenerys, uh, Khaleesi. Now, uh, the thing is, after I uh, read this news, hmm. I got the sensation that there is not, there is not much uh, fan uh, hype going on for this. Not so much because of the COVID pandemic. I mean, let's, you know. <laughs> guys, guys, let's not sugarcoat things. A lot of folks, even hordes of loyal fans, were hugely disappointed with the final season and especially with the final episode. That's putting it lightly. Uh, I think that's... That's uh, putting it lightly. I think that's reflecting... Death threats on, on Twitter how, uh, is not disappointment. The, lack, the relative uh, <laughs> lack of... Uh, which is supposed to be high enthusiasm for this uh, upcoming spinoff of Game of Thrones. I mean, what do you think? I mean, what do what you guys take okay. on? So I think the biggest issue is that it's a very excellent franchise that's not done yet. And, and uh, it, the guy's not writing fast enough. I mean, like the, the, the team. <laughs> that's also the, putting it lightly. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the no, team yeah, that's, yeah, <laughs> HBO. HBO He's making a video game right now. Is he? Yeah. H- yeah, HBO. He's, he's like working with J- Japanese studios to make a video game. He ain't doing Game of Thrones. That's just mo- free money in his pocket. You know, uh, the, the, the show I'm not kidding. I'm not even kidding. The, 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 the showrunners <laughs> and the producers over at HBO really took um, Song of Ice and Fire and turned it into an epic show. And so, so it's a match made in heaven between the content and the, and the creators. But the problem is that the content has run out. And, and I think, oh, I know the reason why the last like three episodes of Game of Thrones completely buckled under the pressure of what it built is because it built adapted content. So it's like the, the, you now have the pinnacle of this adapted content hierarchy not having content. So it, it showed the fallacy of, of, or the hollowness That's of That's- these people are great over HBO of adapting content. But they were not the whole the whole structure of the production was not built for original content. It had been honed in on adaptation, and once they ran out of of of, of story to adapt, it just it became a completely different show. And I don't think it was a bad show. The last three episodes, it just it wasn't the overall. Show that it was great. Watching. Yeah, it, but yeah, yeah, the last three episodes, the last three was episodes was like, yeah. it was like they took the head off of somebody else, attractive nonetheless, but they put it on a different <laughs> body, and you're kind of like. That's one way to put it. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a shame because That's one way to put it. and, uh, and uh, what's his name? Uh, David Benoit, Benoit, I believe that's his name. They were the showrunners for uh, throughout the, its entire. Oh, uh, the their whole the career first, got destroyed because he couldn't write fast enough. But but they're but they're writing for the first three. Was four it that bad for them? Them. I mean, really? I can understand how. Uh, I mean, well, I guess like you said, because they didn't have much. Uh, uh, original uh, material uh, uh, through which they could base their uh, plot uh, writing on uh, their uh, later. He seasons. left them with an outline. I mean, their later seasons. Someone he, became George R. R. Martin. Less yeah, smart. George R. R. Martin did an interview, and he was like, "After they ran out of book to to adapt, I left them with an outline." And they're like, "Okay, what do you mean an outline? Because like your book is like five hundred pages." He was like, "I left them an outline on like two <laughs> sheets of paper." Written like in between lunch, you know, in, in breakfast. In between lunch, so, you know, two, it, two pieces of paper, two pieces of napkin. Yeah, and it was like, yeah, had like a mustard stain on it, and he was like, adapt that. <laughs> Is mustard know? stain a clue? Is it a Maybe clue? Maybe the yellow mean. <laughs> Is that a dragon? Did okay. he mean this? <laughs> I was willing to give yeah. these guys a chance to write the uh, this, write up the. Uh, new trilogy supposedly well the supposed new trilogy for the new star wars films but obviously that's never going to they got kicked off happen. they got kicked oh, no, off no, no, no. that one was martin. that was, was yeah the only, the only thing martin. right now yeah. that's hot oh yeah sorry sorry fred yeah go ahead no, i'm saying george r. r martin destroyed their career because they took all the blame george r. r martin is is without sin because he created it 
you know, the, the song without, mm. you know, the whole Game of Thrones, the, the, the books, the, the Song of Ice and Fire. He created this mythos that, like, is, is up there with, like, you know, Star Trek and Star Wars. He created this rich, lush world. So people Absolutely. don't want to blame him. So when it all fell apart in the last three episodes, it was the showrunners. They're the ones that, like, yes, got that's too bad, man. of destroying it. But it's, it wasn't their fault. They did the best they could. I mean, from I, going I, yeah, from exactly. That's why it's like 500 bad. pages to, like, an, I mean, fine, outline. the ending wasn't good. But they shouldn't they have their careers die, you know? You know yeah, they, they got kicked off of Star Wars. That's, I mean, that sucks. What they had, I yeah, felt yeah, that they yeah. tried. They, they gave it a noble effort, but uh, yes. alas, uh, they couldn't please everybody. And uh, unfortunately, I mean, heads had to roll. Uh, plenty of tears were... Right. Like Literally, and, uh, it is Game of Thrones. We're not talking about tears uh, within the world of Westeros. Uh, although, uh, what happened <laughs> within the world of Westeros towards... Especially with that certain scene uh, towards the end. Uh, that, 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 that was the mustard stain. They were like, I think this mustard stain. That was, that stain was it? Oh, all good. Uh, Fred, Fred figured it out. It was ketchup. It was ketchup <laughs> and mustard. There you go. Fred put together the, uh, the thing on the they wall. They were like, I think that means burn the whole place down. Wait, do you have the exact outline in your hands, Fred? <laughs> yes, indeed. It's about, it's about, it's about this yes. big, yes. Even my guys. Right. Look, it's a blank piece of paper. That's exactly what George R. R. Martin gave him. <laughs> Two blank pieces of paper. Figure it out, <laughs> bitches. I'm going home. Yeah. He drives off in Lamborghini. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, he, he got a bulldozer full of cash. <laughs> You're not kidding. He's not working on Game of Thrones. It's working for him. Yeah, they, yeah exactly. They, they put a dump truck of money in front of his house every morning for doing nothing <laughs> i mean he's that <laughs> illustrious and he's that uh influential uh, throughout the literary world i mean he's like he is he is he is like, he's he's he did do his thing and he's old he is he's done old. that's what i'm saying he's not rushing he's like he's making old. video games <laughs> yeah. yeah he's old he's not in the best health he's done i can see it in his face oh, okay that's that's too bad I, I, didn't, I didn't mean anything bad to the guy if he's like sick <laughs> no no I, i'm just i'm oh, you wait, know, wait, <laughs> I, I, other than you know well, I, I don't know many geeks that are in good shape. I think this guy realizes. Hey, look, man. <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> I, that, though. <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate that. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not a triathlete. I, 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 I'm in my golden years. I just landed the Titanic. Screw if I'm gonna work. I got about another like ten years. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and now I'm rich. It's fine. We're having time. fun with this banter show. It's not that bad, yeah. Fred. <laughs> yeah, he's rich for the first time. Yeah. I mean, he was successful before, but this is like another level of successful. You think he's going to wait? Yeah, yeah because so like Game of Thrones came out in like the 80s or something, right? It was a while ago I think when like 90s. the first book came out. I think right. And he's, I thought it was 80s. Probably. Yeah. Like, yeah, and he was like, like you said, um, Maybe he had like a job while doing it or whatever, but yeah, right. he's like filthy rich right now. Yeah, he's filthy so, rich for the first time at like fifty yeah. plus. <laughs> you know, what I mean? is he yeah, only fifty plus? I thought he was older. He might be older. He, he looks, might be older. He looks. He, he looks like he's at least sixty plus. I'm not the best, you know, George R. R. Martin fan. So don't quote me on anything yeah. I'm saying. He's in his mid sixties, right, Wendell? Mid sixties. I wait, wait, wait. I have a question, Wendell. Did you meet George R. R. Martin? Not have you met him? I've known people who met him. Oh, sure. Yes. <laughs> I was wrong. I was, I was suspecting yeah. such a yes. I have not, uh, I have not made that <laughs> not yet. yet on that. Uh, on not that yet, not yet. But, uh, perhaps that's Get to it, Wendell. Know. Next year, next year. Uh, I've yeah. met Marjorie Tyrell. <laughs> I've met uh, a White Walker and uh, Slash. Uh, oh, there you go. Okay, okay there you go. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here's the list. <laughs> yes. Here's your big <laughs> He's got a list. He's like, hold on, I got a list. <laughs> <laughs> they, yeah. you know, I, I, you know, and, and to all the George R. R. Martin fans, and to George R. R. Martin himself, I'm not saying that you're going to die soon or or you're not motivated. I'm just saying, if I were you, I would look we're at just the way you filthy rich. Were. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if I was in my we're 60s, just the facts not here. in the best health in the world, and someone just put a dump like truck worth of money in my lap, I would just do the calculus. I would say, hey, look, man, I got like 10 years left. And now I'm rich for the first time? Man, <laughs> yeah. screw off about another show. He's got a role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he doesn't need, he doesn't know anything to anybody. I mean, he's, he's been done. around. Yes. I'm telling you, he's, he's done. People he's owe finished. him now. He's yeah. been around longer than Jay.